While there is some new legislation to reduce health care costs, certain aspects are still skyrocketing in price. And Amy Taylor's here with a look at some of the most expensive treatments and how we're all paying for it. As we age, we're more susceptible to illnesses that impact our health for longer periods of time. As if learning you or a loved one is sick isn't enough, well, the price of treatment is often almost equally as shocking. AARP looked into the cost of nearly 100 specialty drugs. We're talking about treatments for things that affect older adults, like cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, pulmonary hypertension, and they found on average, treatment for just a year can cost nearly $80,000. That's more than what most households make a year and it's three times more than what Medicare beneficiaries typically have so this costs everyone because our tax dollars cover some of these drugs through Medicare and Medicaid programs but ultimately it's leaving people to make decisions they shouldn't have to make like paying bills or buying medication or simply going without the number one solution that we offer to people who are facing a high prescription drug price is to talk to their health care provider. A lot of times there's a less expensive alternative, potentially even a generic version of another drug that is used to treat the same condition, and hopefully you can see some savings there. The specialty drug manufacturers also have patient assistant programs that can get patients the drugs at a lower cost or even for free. Federally, there's been work to speed up generic medication competition and efforts to address high out-of-pocket costs for Medicare Part D. Now, some states have drug affordability review boards, and they're importing less expensive drugs from other countries.